This is Dan Zilnick, president of Afara, coming to you from the Hydro One building in Toronto, Ontario, for your week's 60 seconds of sustainability. The big question on everyone's mind down here in Toronto is now that Doug Ford is premier and he promised to scrap cap and trade in order to lower your gas bill, to lower your hydro bill, to lower your gasoline bill. What steps is Doug Ford taking? to reduce all those bills. How is he scrapping cap and trade regulation in Ontario? 60 seconds on the clock, starting now. The first thing Doug Ford has done, even before he was sworn in, was to scrap the cap and trade regulations, destroying the cap and trade market in Ontario. Remember, he's trying to unwind a market, which is much harder than repealing a tax. $2.8 billion of credits have already been issued by the government, and he has to figure out what to do about that. The next thing he's done is earmarking $30 million Canadian dollars in order to fight Ottawa on the federal carbon backstop. He's also cancelled the Green On program and that is part of what subsidizes electrical vehicles here in Ontario. He's also scrapped the issuing of the gasoline report which is supposed to tell us exactly how much carbon was contributing to your gasoline bill. But importantly, yesterday he fired the CEO of Hydro One and the chair, and the chair of the board along with the rest of the board are stepping down. So we're seeing huge changes Doug Ford is delivering on his promise to scrap cap and trade in Ontario. Will this be something that we see across Canada? Well, I can bet you if Jason Kenney gets in power in Alberta, we'll see more of this. Thank you very much. This is Dan Zilnick coming to you from Toronto, Ontario for your week's 60 Seconds of Sustainability.